In this video, I'll show the changes for Overgrowth Alpha 139, which you can try if you've pre-ordered. This week I expanded the grass system to cover the whole level. Here's how it looks on the patchy highlands terrain. I also added a wind effect in the vertex shader using several overlapping sine waves to control the vertex offset. Since the grass gets its color from the underlying terrain, the same model can work on differently colored levels. It's easy to swap in different models as well to get different effects. Here are the weeds from last week, some low clover, and some kind of tall grain. The detail objects don't just work with plants. We can also have fields of bones, or pillars, or anything else. This should be useful for adding pebbles and other inorganic details, as well as some strange monolith structures. The grid system from last week is used to discard detail objects that aren't visible to the camera. Here are the bounding spheres used for this view frustum culling. To make the far clip plane less visible, the detail objects sink into the ground in the distance. This is usually a pretty seamless transition because of the color matching. There's a lot more work to do with the detail objects, like making white maps to control their placement and using multiple types of detail objects at once, but I'll get to that later. That's it for this week. If you'd like to pre-order and try the alpha for yourself, you can do that at wolfire.com slash pre-order. If you'd like to hear about development news as soon as it happens, you can follow me on Twitter at wolfire.